It's not so easy to define. Our scripture this morning from Romans really centers around this idea of faith, saying, since we are justified through faith, we have peace through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, this sounds simple enough, but we have to ask, what does it really mean to have faith? Now, of course, we all know verses like John 3.16 that say, whoever believes in him may not perish, but have eternal life. And I think sometimes we think of belief and faith as being the same thing. And now, they're definitely related, but I think faith is much deeper than just a belief. Somebody who is a great example of what faith looks like in their life was a man named Eric Liddell. I've been really interested in his story since I read a book about him a while ago. Many of y'all might know him from the movie Chariots of Fire, as the man who refused to run an Olympic race because he was held on a Sunday. Now, his choice was controversial. It made people in his home country of Scotland even call him a traitor to the country. But he gave up his own personal glory to do what he thought God wanted him to do. He didn't just believe, but he really put his faith in God and trusted him over all the people around him telling him to do differently. Now that story, was, uh, that story alone was impressive enough to make a movie about. But his story didn't end there. He went on to become a missionary in China, teaching and coaching children in an environment that was hostile to Christian missionaries like himself. During World War II, when Japan invaded China, he was put in an internment camp, but he continued to run sports games, teaching children, helping the sick, and teaching Bible study while he was there. He was seen as a leader among the other prisoners until he ultimately passed away in the camp. I think his life really shows us that faith, in many ways, is an action. He had to make the conscious choice to put his faith in God and let that lead him in his life. I think this here is the difference between believing in something and really having faith. Eric could have believed in God and run in the race like people were telling him to, and he could have gone on to live a comfortable life in Britain instead of risking his life in a foreign land, but he put his faith in God instead. Now sometimes it can be hard for us to relate to people who have such inspiring stories that seem so different from ours. I mean, they make movies about these people for a reason. But I think we all have the ability to put our faith in God and what he wants us to do. If you look again at our scripture from Romans, Paul says that through our faith, we have peace with God and have obtained access to his grace. And he doesn't promise an easy life. He says instead that we boast in our sufferings because they'll make us stronger. And living a faithful life has never been without struggle. Paul himself knew this very well. He was beaten and imprisoned all throughout his life but he reminds us that our reward is so much greater than any suffering we could go through. Thinking about their stories makes me think, I would like to have the faith of people like Paul, people like Eric Liddell. If we all had faith like that, what would things look like in the world around us? Well, I think we would all live better lives and I think our world would benefit as well. Because as Paul says, because we are justified through our faith, we have peace through our Lord Jesus Christ.